Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. Alright, we have a really fun episode. We're going to be reviewing Amazing Spider-Man 19. Uh, we we kind of have uh, the main creative team is taking a little break here. And we have guest creators Joe Kelly and Terry and Rachel Dodson. So um, before we get dived into this issue that was that, you know, it's not, uh, it it's interesting. <laughs> before we get dived into what happens in this issue, a little bit of reveals too. I do want to let you guys know about the 600 subscriber giveaway. When we hit 600 subscribers, we'll be giving this book away. It's a Marvel number one variant. All you have to do is like the video, comment down below, and be subscribed to the channel. And that'll give you a chance to win. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get dived into Amazing Spider-Man 19. Now, as always, we're going to be going heavy into spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled for Amazing Spider-Man 19, that's your warning. Next up, we always shout out the creative team because without the creative team, we wouldn't have a comic book, right guys? So on this issue, as I was saying, we have Joe Kelly as the guest writer. Terry Dodson is doing uh, guest pencils and colors. And Rachel Dodson's doing the guest inks. And Joe Caramagna is doing letters. With the uh, the cover actually done by Scott Romita Jr., Scott Hanna, and Marcio Menez. Now, there is an additional kind of a forward here that ends by saying uh, the events of this issue take place after the Mary Jane and Black Cat miniseries. Which makes sense because I was kind of wondering, I'm like, how are Peter and MJ going on a date? Isn't MJ stuck with Mary Jane in limbo right now? Or how are Peter and Black Cat going on a date? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> they, I was kind of curious how Black Cat, yeah, was, was out of limbo yet. So this takes place after the Mary Jane and Black Cat series. Uh, so yeah, that makes sense now. Now we start with uh, Peter actually kind of re recollecting on the fact that um, after the Dark Web and... Um, you know this uh this new romantic interest with black cat he actually feels like things are on the up and up and uh black cat mentions to him that uh maybe you know maybe they should uh take take to the town and uh go on a on a date and that the city won't fall apart without spider-man for one re one week weekend and um so they end up deciding they're going to go ahead and, and go off on this on this date. And we see them driving up. Here's a little ex example of Terry and Rachel Dodson's art. And so they go driving, they go driving up. They're going to uh, actually kind of go up in the mountains where it's snowing. And uh, try to, you know what I'm saying, try to go somewhere secluded. Ho hopefully nothing happens. They're able to hang out. <laughs> However, when they show up there... Who's there but Mary Jane and her husband? And we find out that basically Black Cat kind of set this up. She She's trying to test Peter and she wants to see how, you know, how much he's still into Mary Jane. Um, so there's a, a very interesting meeting with some kind of funny stuff. Uh, you guys will have to buy the issue if, if you want to get all the story it's kind of cute. Um, you end up thinking maybe Peter's disrobed, but he's not disrobed. He's wearing a uh, a, a pair of boxers that says "Here, Kitty, Kitty" on it, and you know Mary Jane kind of points and laughs at him. Um, but then they hear they hear a sound off in the distance that sounds like an earthquake. Uh, so Peter and Black Cat take off to go don costumes and go investigate. Obviously they, you know, they can't have a, a, a wonderful getaway, right? Without, without something happening. Now on the way too, they have this conversation where Black Cat's like, she says, so just admit that you're holding a torch for her and we can move on. And uh, Peter says, that feels like the opposite of what I should do with your claws that close to my jugular. And she, she replies, you have to call a thing by name before you can get past it. All relationships thrive or fail by a measure of trust, Spider. 
trust me with the truth, even if you don't trust yourself. And at that point, before he can reply, he says, cat eye, and then they kind of run into the, the bad guys, who are actually a group of people with a bunch of, uh, a bunch of d different technology, uh, with the, this rabbit character as the, the leader of this little ragtag group, we do find out she hasn't split from Tombstone and stolen all his merchandise, but she's, without letting Tombstone know, has been using all of his um, technology and, and stuff to, uh, to simulate events out, out here, and they charge rich people to come out and pretend to fight them not for but not for real and so spider and and black cat are, are kind of talking like you know should is this a, a is this even a crime uh, you know i'm not sure um but they do kind of come to the re realization you know what if what if it gets taken too far and what if these uh these this technology was to fall into the wrong hands right um, we also see that the bunny character is sort of uh, dating this guy who who is the guy that set up all of the the buyers, right? And so he walks off, and she's kind of there talking, and then unfortunately we we find out that he's been murdered off screen, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like a mystery, and um, so he we end up seeing him, you know, not doing too well. I don't think he's alive anymore. But he's got an umbrella. I think that's kind of the hint there. There's an umbrella that seems to have poked, poked him in the head. And, uh, and so, um, y you know, at the very end, we, we get that a bunch of, uh, the bunny's assistants, unbeknownst to her, have kind of decided that Spider and Black Cat are probably going to arrest them. And so uh, they've turned off their safety protocols, and maybe they're the ones that did that. I'm not really sure. It didn't seem that way, but they're just like, you know, we're not going to jail. And uh, they all, they all uh, arm arm up their their weapons, kind of like a wannabe Sinister Six guys. They're not the actual Doctor Octopus and and all those people, but you know what I'm saying. It it's like people with. Uh, technology that kind of is similar to that so so these people could come up uh into the woods in the hills and uh pretend like they were fighter man and spite all these fight all these spider-man bad guys um anyways uh so now you kind of see what's going on with the cover except they seem to have uh you know put put all of uh tombstones guys in his tr in the traditional uh ninja robes that john romita jr's been drawing them in <laughs> which which looks super cool i'm not gonna lie um so yeah amazing spider-man 19 I, I i don't know you know i think i think we'll have kind of a better idea of of how good this um this uh guest creative team is kind of as their little mini run progresses um it definitely does feel like they had you know been asked hey could you fill in for i'm not sure if it's two or three issues they're filling in for but they definitely wrote like a two or three issue arc and so on this issue i'm not really sure it's kind of there was some interesting reveals um during you know the part where peter parker uh ends up showing up to to this supposed date with black cat only to find out that mary jane and her new husband are also there kind of like black cat's trying to trying to get him to uh confront confront this demon if you will um and so that's that's kind of interesting and, and i'm curious to see where that will go and uh obviously you know peter's got to be honest with felicia if he if he wants any chance at a relationship with her at all you can't start off by telling a lie and we all know that peter still still holds mary jane in his heart you could you could definitely tell by the scenes that 
that uh, that played out there when he showed up and Mary Jane was there that you know he he still he still likes her and and uh, you know it is what it is I guess with that situation and I've heard we're gonna be finding out really soon uh, what actually happened so I'm super curious too to see to see how that plays out um, so I had fun with Amazing Spider-Man 19 the the artwork was really awesome too kind of a different change of pace to have uh to have that style on on here and I, but i had fun with it you know and and their artwork is really smooth and uh they do uh facial expressions super well uh, you know which which kind of uh works out really well when a lot of this issue is like seeing peter's reaction to uh to what's going on through the through the issue so that's what i have amazing spider-man 19 gets a thumbs up Remember, like, comment, subscribe helps to spread the YouTube algorithm so more people can find my Fun Times channel about comic books. As always, we'll see you guys next time, and have a great day.